Hey guys, it's Ninja, and today's video we are going to be saving up. Yay, we're going to be doing that quest line because it just came out the other day and I'm super excited to explore it. Let's go. Alright. I'm glad you're here, Lucy. I didn't suppose I could bum, ride, bum a ride off you and storm mist. Sure. Alex texted that she she and Anne are training at the orchard down by Fire Road. Mr. Morland said I can take time off, but I but there ain't any horses free. Maybe double ride. What about the horse behind you? <laughs> Boss. <laughs> oh, okay, we're stuck. All right, let's go. We're okay, we made it to the orchard. There they all are. Maya, you made it. Thanks to Lucy and Stormus, I hope we weren't too late. Oh, the animations are so cool. Nah, you're just in time. Okay, I'm gonna park you over here. Because I'm scared of what she's gonna do. <laughs> and I don't want Stormus in the way. So, yeah. There's that for you. Hey Lucy, thanks for giving Maya a lift. We're about to start training. Linda had an idea of how to mix things up. I hope it doesn't involve cosplay again. <laughs> okay, one more time from the top. In this scenario, the trees are rune stones holding, to holding together the fabric of reality. The apples are explosives placed by Dark Hole. Alex, you have to use your power to zap the explosive devices. And Anne, it's up to you to gather the explosives when they fall and bring them back to the bomb disposal unit. That would be me. <laughs> Picking up apples? This is a waste of time. I know this is difficult, Anne, but you were the, you were the most gifted of us all. To lose a soul rider like you did, it was beyond awful. But you still a champion of the Sun Circle. We still have to work as a team. It's fine. Everything's fine. In fact, why don't we make it interesting? Lucy, we can race to pick up the zapples, uh, bombs. Are you sure you want the extra pressure? <laughs> Sounds fun. You know what? Sounds fun. Exactly. Alright, let's just get let's get into character. Soul Riders. The Spy Masters Network has been discovered a crisis in the making. Dark Hall has placed an explosive devices on these rune stones. Unless we remove them all in time, the fabric of reality could be convenient. Failure is not an option. This is not a drill. It's a drill. <laughs> I'm confused. Alex will take point Anne and Lucy collect the volatile explosives and bring them to the immediate disposal. Okay, now we have everything covered. Can we jump into action? Yeah. Sure. Let's go. So riders, ride out. Race against Anne for collecting the explosives. Sounds fair. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, do we have to go on horseback? No, this isn't fair. I started on the ground. Hang on, why can't I get on? Running. Anne's already got three apples against me. Nope. Okay, what's that? Am I supposed to be- this isn't fair. <laughs> Am I supposed to be doing this on horseback? <laughs> yeah, I am. Um... This is not fair. Cut. That didn't happen. <laughs> okay, now we're good. Now we can be Anne. That is so cool though. I 
think. Ah, no, we are probably not going to be Anne. Hello, I'm sorry. What's today's horse called? I can't keep up. Blondie, like in the old cowboy movies, and we're terrible. Hey, sunshine, don't beat yourself up. Soul riding is a team sport. When one of us wins, we all win. We can't just enjoy this victory. Sweet, sweet victory apples. <laughs> Seriously, congratulations. You're the better rider. Wait, can we talk for a minute? Sure, Anne. Something feels off. The Soul Riders used to have clear mi a clear mission. We did our job, we saved the day, but now we hang out, we train, and we wait. What are we even waiting for? It feels pointless if we're constantly waiting for something to go up in flames and then scramble to put it out. If, as, if there's no end sight to our d duties as Soul Riders. We keep your vixen. I agree with you. It's pointless. I agree with her. I'm glad someone else around here does. Sometimes it feels like we're working towards an endless goal, fighting and training, and for what? Look at her. She has no idea what's in store for her. I'm glad she has the chance to be a filly before she has to take on the role as a guardian horse. My mom used to be a soul rider and walked away. Elizabeth stayed in this world and paid the ultimate price. If I leave, am I a coward? We have our duty, never. Hmm, we have our duty. Duty, huh? That's what the others say. Are we like volunteer firefighters waiting for the next crisis or something and don't even know if I want to stay? Damn Fripp and damn 80 and for putting us in this impossible situation. Oh, I clicked back. Um, nice, Anne's talking to us. Thanks for talking with me. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> we should join the others and not let me ru totally ruin today. Are we racing? Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. You should share that recipe, um, Alex. Nah, it's an old family secret. Clam, will never tell. <laughs> Don't you just zap an apple with your power, the lightning circle? It's not really. Shh, zip it, sunshine. You never know who's listening. Uh oh. Hello? It's Fripp. He's getting worse. You just have to come right now. Something's happening with Fripp. We have to get back to Veildale. Let's ride once. Oh, oh, you're riding without me. There we go. Blondie can't come into the secret stone circle, so I'll have to walk around the spiritual on foot. It doesn't quite seem to have the same magical feeling, to say the least. Don't worry, Anne. Blondie can hang out while you're gone. Blondie and I can hang out while you're gone. Walking around circles to reach a secret druid circle. I stopped asking questions about what Alex does a long time ago. <laughs> she could ride with me. She doesn't have to walk it. Mm. Looks like we all made it. Poor Fripp. Aw, poor Fripp. Wait, his character model got a makeover. Yeah, I should look at the news more often. <laughs> I'm so nervous that there's no escaping the truth. Let's hear what Avalon has to say. Mm. What happened? How is he? He is fading. You can see right through him, as if the world is rejecting his very existence. It's not fair. He gave all his life so we could, he could, you could find me, and I never even got to say goodbye. He's not gone yet, Anne. Hold on to hope. Hope doesn't solve anything. Lisa, heal him. You're the leader of the Star Circle, aren't you? Then prove it. I try. I've tried. Don't you know I've tried? It's all right, Lisa. For is beyond the reach of anything's light. Earth itself is rejecting him. Then we take him to Pandora. 
That's where he's from, isn't it? Impossible. Fripp is exiled during the cataclysm that linked our worlds. It is why he could never join me during my training. His body is out of time and space, completely unmoored from reality. It's unreality like. So there's nothing we can do to help him. It would take a miracle. We make our own miracles? Why can't we catch a break? That's a bit mean to say. We can make our own miracles. You're right. We're not powerless. We're soul riders. I feel like something I said to Anne's gonna come up right here. Mm, there must be something in the room that we're overlooking. Something that could help us Fripp's health. This thingy? Okay, a five leaf clover. That's actually interesting. Lucy, a five leaf clover we took from you, of course. So, for that of course, we've been so focused on druid magic. There are other ways. A clover, what's so special about a clover? P used, P the witch used clovers like that one to make horses for, for dark riders, right? Yes, according to Uterus, this particular clover is doubtly potent, thanks to Lucy. Do you think it could help Fripp ever go? I couldn't say. It's more powerful witchcraft than I've ever mastered, but for Yorvik's witches and talisman, talisman like that uh, is capable of working powerful transformations. Transformations? <clears throat> then I say it's worth a shot. But who... Who would know how to use this power? Any ideas, Lucy? <clears throat> Mrs. Holdsworth? We could ask P. Mrs. Holdsworth? Yes. Elizabeth trusted her. Mm. Okay. A witch here. Little brother, your anxiety around riches would be during if it wasn't grounded. Yes, so Lucy and I will ask Mrs. Holdless to come. Since we're headed back to Moorland, I'll come with, with and give Maya a ride home. A D B. Oh, okay. We're coming for. We'll be back for it. We're yeah. right on time, dearies. I've already packed. You knew we were coming? But of course, I've known you'd come for me for help for ages. If you knew you could help, why didn't you come for us? We're almost out of time. We might be even too late. Dearies, I'm never late. It's the other one I'd be worried about if I were you. Other one? Convincing him of urgency won't be easy. He's not a fan of clocks, ho ho. Oh no, not him. Who? Uterus. We need a witch's expertise. It's not something shouts and shenanigans. Can you at least tell us where we need you? A miracle like this requires a very special circle. Trust me, you little friend, its fate depends on it. Bringing a witch into the secret circle is one thing, but Uterus, Avalon's not gonna be happy. Yeah, I agree. He'll get over it. Avalon's a ton of pusher. Rude, but true. In in that case, Alex, would you help Mrs. Holworth get to Valdale while Lucy and I take a trip to the circus? Hop on, Mrs. H. It's very kind of you, dear. But my bee, but my bees and I know the way. But you can take my bag, ho ho. I really thought she could help. Guess it's time for the circus. Oh, please, no. <laughs> Would rather pee. Well, well, what do we have here back for an encore? No. We have a problem. It's. And time is not on our side. If it's what you're looking for, I have none to spare. Nasty stuff, time. It's your wisdom we seek. My wisdom. Wisdom is such a bore. But since you came all this way... Oh no. 
this is gonna be bad. I'm well aware of the one called Fripp. If Rodin's sick, if the Rodin's sick, you should find someone else to help him. I run a circus, Little Doves. I am not a veterinarian. Without Fripp to guide us, the Earth is in danger. We need him to understand how to restore balance for the two worlds. Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. In our last encounter, it's the curtains for your Earth. Why would I get involved to save it? There are other worlds I can take from to my show. You don't mean that. If you didn't care about Jorvik, why have you stayed here for such a long time? There you go again, talking about time. Have you not learned? I care not for humans' obsession with time. Come on, Lucy. The lamest showman doesn't have any real power. He's all smoke and mirrors. We don't need him. Let's go. Smoke and mirrors. Listen to yourself. Flittering back and forth with your words. First you need me, and then you don't. You're like a spiteful little butterfly. That gives me an idea. You want to be a star of the show? You shall be. Voila. Neither of you are leaving until you've learned your lesson, little doves. Quick, quickly, Lucy. Leap and spin and gather all those butterflies. Collect enough and she should be back to her flittery fluffy self. Wait, I thought she said she could... Wait, what? Come on. Got it. <sighs> Shut up. Thanks, Lucy. That felt, um... Not every day you turn into a cloud of butterflies. I totally thought the reverse psychology trick would work. Maybe he really doesn't care about Earth. Maybe Uterus can't be persuaded to help. Maybe we can't convince him, but someone else might. We could try the clock thing again. Mm. Good idea. Someone Uterus cares about besides himself. Count us in. You'll help us save your friend. our friend? Thank you. No, but Uterus owes us one. And we don't exactly want to see Yorick go up in flames either. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody does. Psst, Lucy, there's no way we're missing out on this. Hearing uterus can be <laughs> a little while later. What? Oh, he's so pretty. I want him. Fine. Uh, I, I apologize. I shall agree to help the Yorvians with their little menial problems. What are you doing, dwelling beside the tent door? Don't just stand there, little barnacles. Your little blue friend needs help, does he not? And I alone can save him. Maybe you changed your mind a moment ago. You were just complaining about coming to help. A moment a year, you humans, a fascination measuring of time. Admit it. For all the for all your bluster, you like it here. Do not. Your vic is unrepentantly dreadful. <laughs> we should move on to the secret stone set. Z Zin. Okay, let's go. We did it. I actually managed to convince Yudas to come help us. Yep. Guys, I think that's where we're going to leave it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!